topic of this video is composing functions. This is a continuation of the previous video. It is possible, of course, to have two different functions. For example, consider the following functions g and f. g of x equals 4x plus 8. f of x equals 3x minus 9. f of x is the same function we explored in the previous video, but g of x is new. Let's take a look at it for a moment. The input is x. The name of the function is g. When an input x goes into a function g, the following instructions are applied. Accept the input, multiply it by 4, which would give us 4x, add 8, which would give us 4x plus 8, then deliver the output. So what comes out, g of x, is equal to 4x plus 8. These functions can be combined in a variety of ways. Earlier in this semester, we learned to create combined functions such as f plus g of x, f minus g of x, f dot g of x, and f over g of x. Today, we learn to combine functions in a new way by composing them together. You can think of this like putting both functions side by side, where the output of the first becomes the input of the second. For example, if we were to compose two functions, f and g, it would look like this. An input x goes into a function named g. What comes out is g of x, because we don't know the instruction. Then g of x becomes the new input for a function named f, and what comes out is f of g of x. Notice that the output is f of g of x. This means that the instructions f were applied to the input g of x. When we turn these two side-by-side -side functions into one, we must give it a new name. The symbol for composing two functions is an open dot, and the order of the names is inspired by the output shown above in red. Hence, our composite function is named f composed with g, and it looks like this. Notice now that we have one large blue box that is sitting on top of the individual blue boxes from the previous diagram. This indicates that we have now turned these two functions into just one function named f composed with g. So there are two ways that we can describe the journey from input to output. The first way is to say that an input x goes into a machine named f composed with g, and therefore what comes out is f composed with g of x but we know what's going on inside the large blue box. x goes into g, and what comes out is g of x. Then g of x goes into f, and what comes out is f of g of x. With this in mind, these two outputs must be equal to each other. This gives us our first definition for composite functions. Definition. Given two functions, f and g, the composite function, denoted by f composed with g, is defined by f composed with g of x equals f of g of x. 